Okay then, I got an early start on this and I already have Tower of Latria down to pure black world tendency. Come on, get a little bit closer. Here you are. Hello. Oh god. I didn't do that in time. That was stupid. I think I'm dead. If I'm not dead, I'm very close to it. I'm very close to it. Okay, how about we get ourselves some full moon grass? And he's gonna run up to us now. Ah! No! Oh, he was most ways dead too. That sucks. I'm hoping I can maybe get a hit off of him before he tries to attack again. Yes! Okay, that wasn't that wasn't very good. That was pretty dumb. Or maybe it's still you. Why are you still here? <laughs> Maybe I didn't use enough stones of ephemeral eyes, I don't know. That's a pain in the butt, though. You should be dead. <laughs> or, not dead, you should be a black phantom and trying to kill me. What didn't you understand about this? Oh yeah, another thing, I think the official name for this thing is the Prisoner Horde. Because it is pretty much a big ball of prisoners all put together. But I just like to call it Legion, because it looks just like you know, the Grand Falloon, or Legion, whatever you per prefer its name to be from, uh, Castlevania. It's the general appearance of that creature, so I just call it Legion. Call it whatever you want. Oh, there he is. Finally, we got him. This is Black Phantom Skurvir. He is, uh, just kind of sitting there in the corner waiting for us, and wow! I didn't know he cast that. I've never actually fought Black Phantom Scurvier. This is a new one for me. Well, that was, uh, pretty unceremonious. Just giant fireball of death. That was, that was pretty cool, though. Alright, let's try that one more time. Okay, once more. This time with Water Veil. I don't know how much that's really going to help me, but... Regardless. Oh, boy. It doesn't seem like a big melee guy, but he loves his giant fireballs doom, that's for sure. Oh, there he goes. Oh, ow. Oh, it still killed me. Alright, I noticed an inherent problem with my strategy trying to fight Skurvier. Since he uses so many flame attacks, even though I did cast Water Veil, I didn't really bring stuff that would negate fire with me. So I'm taking along the Mirren Armor once again and uh, hopefully this will work out alright for us. If I could just get behind him, that would be really nice. Backstab, there we go, that's what I'm talking about. But yeah, I'm surprised at how much health he has. He just did a little twirl there. I don't know why. It's cool though. I dig it. I should actually be casting Water Veil. There we go. Just, just a tiny bit more resistance against his crazy thingamajigs. Ow. Okay, it didn't hurt that much, but it still hurt. Oh. That especially hurt. Okay, let's heal ourselves. Good. Not dead yet. Now I'm dead. Now I'm dead. Now I'm dead. You know, I've always been a firm believer in the fact that if you can't deal with your problems head on, improvise. So if you guys don't mind, we're gonna do a little bit of that right here. And if you're wondering how, since we're not doing a lot right now, we're going to headbutt Skurvier off the cliff. If they don't screw up, that is. Come on, a little bit further. See you, Skurvier. <laughs> uh, well, I couldn't defeat him head-on in combat, because he did way too much damage and I didn't do nearly enough. But, uh, I believe that solves our problem rather well. So, you know, what's not to like? 
Okay, yeah, I didn't play very fair there, but... <laughs> I did what I had to. <laughs> so anyways, let's run down there, get that soul that he dropped, see what he has, if anything, and, uh... Then we'll get out of here. I suppose. Whoa! No, 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 no! I'm dead. Yeah. He drops the Talisman of Beasts, and that sucks, because that's an awesome weapon. Or, not a weapon, but awesome item. Uh, is it still... Well, it wouldn't still be there since we died. Well, that's a bummer. Um, I wish I hadn't have screwed up like that. That is really a waste. Oh well. What can you do? Hey, yeah, go away. Ow! <laughs> I love that. An <laughs> I love that animation. I've never seen that before. That was silly. Oh wait! Ah! I forgot about you. Backstabbing me, good sir. Let's so take out the mind flare. And just down this corridor. Unless I'm mistaken, should be. Ah, oh, there he is. He's no longer in his cell, he's actually escaped. And there he is. And he's gonna. Whoa! Holy breaking through my defense damage, Batman. Jeez. I don't want to fight him anymore. Can I just toss him off the cliff? That'll just be my, uh, that'll be my gimmick. <laughs> Instead of fighting these guys like I should, I'll just throw them off cliffs. No. We're not gonna be able to really fight him. Because he does damage even if I block his attacks, so unless I dodge them, which is not the easiest thing in the world to do. Well, imagining a Managing okay thus far. It's gonna change pretty pretty soon, I can assure you. Guess he has a little bit less health than Scurvy or two. Oh, see, ah, oh, damn it! These black phantoms are ridiculous, man. All right, change of plans. We are not going to go after. Um, we're not going to go after Lord Ridiel because. He does magical damage with the Phosphorescent Pull. That's the whole thing with the Phosphorescent Pull. That's why we were taking damage, even though we were blocking. He was going through our Heater Shield, which doesn't defend very well against magic. So basically, if we want to fight him, we're going to need a shield that defends against magic. And I just so happen to know a shield that does that, but we can't even get that shield until um, we beat the Archdemon of World 5. So... We're going to come back to him afterwards. That's that's basically what I'm getting at. So, yeah. Anyways, um, right here we're actually going to be going for the World 3 uh, Archdemon. This is an interesting one because it actually utilizes sometimes. I doubt we're going to get it here just because um, the multiplayer aspect is a little bit dead. But, um, I don't know, I'll just watch this cutscene, then I'll explain it.
So that was the old monk, sort of the corrupt ruler of this land. Um, he basically, uh, he, he had that, that yellow robe, and, uh, or that yellow cloak, the cloth, and, uh, I think it more or less possessed him, you know, it kind of gave him demonic powers, and then he kind of went around, you know, he usurped the kingdom, he locked away the queen, uh, I don't know if he killed the king or if he is the king, he's the old monk, so I, I don't know, but... Basically, um, since he's so old and frail, he couldn't really fight you head-on, so what he does is he actually summons a black phantom to fight for him, and he gives it his, his, uh, yellow cloth so that, um, they can fight using his power, so he kind of aids them in battle. I'm dead. Oh wow, he shot two in a row. Is that what happened last time, or was I just being clumsy? Because I mean, usually after after they shoot one, they uh, they come after you, and then they use that big shockwave attack. So that was a little bit confusing to me. Just kind of why I ran in, because I thought I saw the uh, first electricity attack, and then I went in. And he shot another one at me. So yeah, that's the nice thing about the uh, Dragon Longsword, is that it causes a lot of stun damage. Or, a lot of hit stun, rather. And then you can keep on hitting them. Yeah. Alright. Hmm. That was weird. I couldn't get up the last step for some reason. Anyways, yeah, we're not going to be fighting against a human player, unfortunately. If I could show it off, I'd love to. And, I mean, if I could have shown it off with a friend, then maybe we could have done, like, a, uh barehanded fight. I actually have a video of that when I was just doing random Demon Souls videos, but yeah. We're gonna have to fight the uh, gauntlet-wielding Black Phantom, so... Ah, damn it! Oh, wow, did he just parry me? It kinda looks like he parried me there, because I stumbled. Ow. Crap. Eat your grass. Oh no! There we go. Another stab. that come from? Oh hey! We have an actual player character invading. His name is Sushi. At last! We get to fight against somebody who isn't an NPC. I'm pretty excited. I don't even care if I fail, it's just nice to finally have some multiplayer getting in here. And we haven't really fought any Black Phantoms, so I guess this is a good way to, uh, kind of force it on us. Yeah. Okay, so here we go. Sushi. Let's see what Sushi has to offer. I'm kind of scared. I think I'm going to use my, uh, Dark Heater Shield. Where are you hiding, Sushi? Where is Sushi? Is he using the, uh, yep, that's what he's doing. He's going for a stealth approach. Let's see what you're doing there, bud. And I don't like it! Get over here. Wouldn't it be great if Sushi were, like, level 5,000 and I'm not gonna do any damage to him at all? He's a 
very dodgy man, I'll say that much of him. I'm not doing any damage! <laughs> Do you see that? It's a little bit strange. Oh, there we go. Here is the damage. I think I know why this is happening, it's the lag. Oh, he healed himself, too. That's not nice. Come on, Sushi. Bring it! Oh, no! Oh, this is a pain in the butt. <laughs> he keeps healing himself up. This could go on for a while. But I'm glad we finally got this, because I was getting kind of sick of the, uh... Getting kind of sick of the whole versus NPC thing, you know. I, I would have rather died to them all those times and then finally gotten to fight Sushi than having won on the first try, even. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get some two-handed in here. I can just finish him off. Do as much damage as I can at one time. Get over here, Sushi. I'm letting my stamina go all the way down. That's not smart. Have them almost there we go. That's it for sushi. Thank you for joining, sushi. <laughs> oh god, fun times. Finally we got to do some PvP, I'm glad. Oh man. So yeah, that was sushi. Um And that's it for the Tower of Latria. We will be showing off versus Lord Ridiel, but um That'll be for later, once I have a shield that actually blocks magic attacks. So, yeah.